Welcome once again to Vegas Valley Treasures. My name is Kenneth. I am your host, your hand model. Uh, my hand is still dirty from the last video I just did. I apologize. Uh, and at the Vegas Valley Treasure Hunter. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. We're going to do another um, continuation of the unboxing video. I realized I tried to move the, the microphone a little bit away from my mouth to see if that would um, improve or allow me to, to have a clearer view of the the workspace here unfortunately the sound didn't sound as wonderful as it will for this video because this time the, the mic is back up right against my mouth here ah, it's it's just a constant battle between uh, noise in the room and getting the sound to where it should be for the videos but we'll keep working on it let me grab some lovely pieces and we can start looking at some additional jewelry together. Oh, yeah. well, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Empty bag's not going to be helpful. Let's grab the box here. Okay, let's start with, with the, the prepackaged stuff because that's pretty easy. Yeah, these all look like the ones we've been looking at recently from Magnolia and Vine. This one says $49.99 for the pricing. And we've got this intricate uh, necklace, which is sitting very poorly in the packaging. I'm going to open this up. I've been wanting to do that anyway for some of these. I can always put back, but I can retape the, 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 the necklace so it displays better on the card. There we go. Let's see. So, in this case, we've got three baubles on either side. We've got a the the signature piece with the hole in it. Another another signature piece with a hole in it. it looks like, it, yeah. And four dangling, uh, three three dangling chains. That's an odd thing to put. Oh, well, never mind. Not my business. This is a named piece, of course, and I'm not going to mess with it because it is such... I'm sure somebody would love it just the way it is, and I'm not going to change how it appears. But in the meantime, put it back in its packaging and send it over to Grogu over here. We'll figure out what to do with it from there. I've just been enjoying looking at these things, looking at these wonderful pieces with you. Mm. Oh, come on. Oh, behave. There we go. It's funny, I actually don't even like that movie, but I can certainly add to the imitation. For it. Okay. There you go, Grogu. Uh, another one. Well, that's an nifty little piece. It's non-symmetric, but I still like the way it looks. This one they were selling for $49.99 as well. Where style blooms. Magnolia and vine. Okay. In with Grogu, you go. No, no, no. Don't mess with Grogu's ear. I like Grogu too much. If I have to choose between you and Grogu, I choose Grogu. Okay, live, love, and sparkle. Another signature piece with the signature uh, pendant. This one apparently they were selling for $32.99. That looks good. On your way. Okay. Let's see what's in this box. I have no idea what we're dealing with here. Looks like it opens from this side, if nothing else. Okay. Let's try not to knock off any of my letters from the board. Um, well, I already see a problem with this piece. We'll get to that in a second. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, so what we have here is a broken brace. I'm oh, sorry, a broken necklace. Um, and there's an, an, another problem in, embedded in there. The connection between this ring and this is a little jump ring, and it's holding it in a weird way. Um, it needs a bigger jump ring, 
in general. Um, I solved the same problem on the other side, right here. See what I mean? And I'm not sure where this, this symmetry is, but either way, this piece has been disconnected, or there's another piece missing. We could figure that out. But this needs some work. Hmm. Do we want to work on it now, or? I can at least reconnect these two pieces and see what it looks like as is. Hope, hoping that this was the only disconnect and there wasn't something missing between the two. this jump ring for the time being that'll serve okay so let's see do we have any well we do have some symmetry we can see that right here so so far so good and then we get the two uglies and yeah this this is a full necklace you can see the symmetry okay so the only thing we really need to fix initially is these two links these need to be replaced with larger jump rings just so it it doesn't tangle between the two um let's check the clasp here while we're while we're messing with this yeah and it's got a nice big extender although the way that this sits this might not be considered an extender just the the end of the chain this is symmetric right here, right at the um, at the clasp. Now let's fix this. This still, this won't take more than a minute or so, or well, maybe several minutes. But I'm willing to put in the work. What about you? Okay, so we got plenty of jump rings to play with. Of course, we need to be able to open said box. There we are. And let's see one of these. Is this going to work as far as color? Yeah. Uh, but I think we need to use the biggest size one. Here, we'll grab two of these. And we'll make the, the swap out. Okay. So, let's see. Where is the break point for this one oh, right there okay oh, I need two tools please thank you luckily I provide myself with two tools I really don't like the way this is forcing me to hold it but we can make do whoever connected these did a really interesting job come on there we go now we can open it up further to allow us to get to, into this ring take this ring off come on oh we need more okay give me more I'm giving you all she's got, Captain. There we go. And we'll throw this into my scrap box off to the side. Yeah, anytime, anytime I pull something off of a, a necklace or, or a bracelet or you know, something, I always put it in my scrap bucket. There's always an opportunity later, maybe, to make use of it. If not, we'll, we'll discard it later. Okay. Now we'll put you here. And that's better. And see now now it looks like it's connected but not sitting on top of it. Better. Much better. Let's grab the other one and do the same thing. See this see how this is like sitting on top of each other? 
It's horrible. I know, I know. Me and my silly demand for aesthetics. It's got to look good to me before I want to put it out to anyone else. And this is such an easy fix that I shouldn't have to worry about it. You, off to the scrap heap. Scrap bags. And the big ring. Let's close the ring. It's funny. My well, pseudo adopted mother, uh, my best friend's mom, who loves me. I always joke that I'm the son she never wanted. She was telling me she has a few broken pieces of jewelry. I told her, bring it over. I'll happily work on fixing them. Still have a piece that I need to fix for my girlfriend, but uh, but I'm paranoid about it. Um, I don't have beads that match it yet, um, and there's what she wants me to do involves seed beads, and they are so freaking tiny. I'm afraid that I might break one. I'm afraid that I'll break the piece in general. But this looks much better. It's in one piece again, and let's move things out of the way. Let's put this on a jewelry card and get it going. See? One more piece for the, the box for Grogu. I'm very glad I wasn't missing any pieces to this. Um, if this sat and wasn't symmetric after I reconnected those that, that one link um, that would not have been good hmm. regardless I got lucky and the piece is in good shape now it's got a happy home in the baggie And off to Grogu you go. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see what else is in here. That was what was in this one. Let's grab this one. Ooh. Well, that's not anything, is it? Oh, it is. This has got a, a name. We'll take a look in a second to figure what that is. Um, so, gold tone chain. Nice extender bobble on the end. It's got a name on the hook here. Let's take a peek. It says Listener, L I S N E R. Are you Ferris? No. Huh. It's a pretty piece. It's a nice choker. Sure, we can connect right there, right? Look how pretty that looks. Okay, let's write up a card for it and get it to Grogu over here. So let's grab a liquid index card. And we, we're going to do this again. Close this. <laughs> I'll do it like kind of hold this. Let's see if we can do it without locking the box this time. Okay. Put you on a jewelry card. Of course, I gotta move things out of the way because I keep piling things on top of each other. Let's get some jewelry cards out so we have them. Okay. Put you in there. Are you fit for that? No. Hmm. Well, we can sort of cheat. one link through just so it sits on the jewelry card come on cheat for me baby cheat ok 
can we do it? No, it's not going to work. Oh, well. Oh, I'll just leave it hanging on the jewelry cart like this. I'm, I'm lazy today. L-I-S-N-E-R. I've not seen a piece yet prior to this that had that jewelry name. But I'll look it up and see what is going on with that. That'll be later. If you know anything about any of the pieces that I'm looking at or have any interest in them, please let me know in the comments. As always, I'm trying to make it interesting for you. There's nothing in that one, nothing. Okay, so let's move on to this piece here. Hello. Um, tassel or chain, chain tangle? Chain tangle, okay. Oh, I already see a, a, a tag on the end. CJ, all right, let me take a quick peek. Yeah, CJ, interesting. Are you Ferris? Chain definitely is. Medallion's not. Okay, so this has got a nice swirling texture on these three pieces of it. It's a nice, nice little medallion. I like that. Uh, the, the, the chain is choker length. So it's not going to hang very low. Uh, it's got a triple chain, as a matter of fact. And it looks like it's twisted relative to the the ends there. Okay, let's write up a little card and let it go. It looks in good shape. I don't know what CJ is, but we'll find out if we can. And we've got a lovely little jewelry card for it. The one we just attempted to put on the previous piece was... Oh, actually, we did put the one on the previous piece. Never mind. This is... Yeah. So the clasp goes this way. And I had two jewelry cards, apparently. Let's check the clasp while we're here. Yeah, it works. And put the extender through. Good. And we've got a, a nice little piece on a card. Oh, let's put this in the bag with the index card. We don't lose the information. I gotta remember, I, I need to get a piece together for my friend. Um, if you haven't seen it already, um, I've been a part of the podcast from my friend, with my friend. His name is Joey. He goes by the um, the name. What is it? Um, why am I losing my, my mind right now? Oh, Deadly. D E A D L E E. And he has a political podcast that we've been working on together. He invited me to be a part of the show for uh, next month, but unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. As much as I enjoy doing the jewelry with you guys and, and everything else, I need to uh, get a steady income back in my life. Uh, the jewelry business has not been very productive for me. Um, as much as I want it to be, it's just not the case. And there it is. Okay, we've got a nice little metal bracelet with red spheres. Um, yeah. They say pursue your dreams, but live in reality, right? And I was making an, a, a very nice salary in my previous positions. Um, just not making it here. Okay, so this little extender, I don't know what the deal is with this. Um, you can see that this is not an even distribution on the the uh, necklace. So I'm thinking that the extender, sorry, the, the piece broke off and the extender belongs 
further down. So we need to reconnect this piece of chain onto here. So, which is not a really big task. We'll see if we can't do that. So you can see the difference in the chain design. This is a uh, the larger chain that that is equivalent to this. Let's get the magnet out of here. Okay, so let's see if we can't open up this link and put it back onto the main piece of the chain. There we go. Link open. What's going on here? I didn't look closer. Somebody twisted the last link. Okay, let's put this down for a second. I want to remove this one link. I can't really fix a twisted link like this, but I can certainly remove it. It may still be a little offset when we put, the th put everything back together, but it'll still look a lot better than it was. With a, with a floating piece that was supposed to be the extender. Okay, we'll put that on the side. Okay. There we go. And put that down for a sec. I need to grab the end of the chain here. Good. Come on, get it on there. Plenty of room for you. There we go. And we will reclose this link. And there's a gap, so we're going to close the gap. This tool. Much better. So now we've got the contiguous chain up to the loop, the jump ring, and this is the extender now. So let's see how this looks when we put it through the loop, which should be the end of our chain officially, but we're missing one single link. But look at that. Much better. Oh, 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 oh. there we go. So, um, again, I don't see any jewelry marks in this, and we already s proved out it's ferrous. So let's card it up and send it on its way. I am so glad I'm able to fix the little problems on these things. Not only does it give me a sense of satisfaction that I've done something, it's also productive in the fact that now I've got a piece that doesn't require any further work it can go out for sale as is and it looks good and somebody will enjoy it um, and fear not guys um, even with me going out and spending some time in the workforce hopefully I'll get a good job again um, I still intend to make some videos for this. So, I, as a matter of fact, it'll be probably more videos. Um, I've got like three or four more collections I really need to go through, and um, I've got an entire hoard of stuff that is all named stuff that I want to show off in a video. So there's plenty of material for me to continue on. Additionally, uh, when I've got a, a better source and and a contiguous source of income um, I can go out and buy more collections which is always a good thing I haven't really bought much since I stopped working back in July I think I bought what a couple a few pieces at a couple garage sales and I bought some stuff to work on from the antique mall I bought a, I, I bought a somebody else's craft bucket 
<laughs> and I pulled like 30 something pieces out of there. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. The chain looks decent. Um, it's the, the extender starts here. So we already checked the clasp. The, ch the clasp works. Um, there we go. It's a nice medallion, nice pendant type thing. Um, the rhinestones are in, are in place. There's a little bit of a warp to this. I wonder if I can bend it back. But nothing's nothing off kilter. Uh, little hearts around the edge. Seven little rhinestones in the middle there. It's a pretty piece in general. Uh, let's see. This floats on the, the necklace, so it doesn't really matter where I grab it from. Hmm. Okay. Let's card it up and send it out. Let's see. Is it Ferris? Just uh, It should be. Certainly feels like it. Yep, what about the medallion itself? Hey, hey, don't grab the chain twice. I asked about the medallion. You see? Very Ferris. <laughs> for the, as a reminder, for those who don't know, Ferris means it contains iron. Therefore, it is attracted to magnets. Um, it's a good way to tell if the piece is made out of precious metals or not. In this case, not because it's uh, non-ferrous. Oh, sorry, it is ferrous. If it's non-ferrous, then you got to go through the, the activity of testing it if you think that it's silver or gold or platinum or what have you. I don't even know how to test for platinum. I just know how to test for silver and gold. I have a, a little kit with all the lovely acids that you have to use, but it's such a pain in the rear end, i got to tell you. But I do, I do admit I found some pieces since I started doing this that are worth money. I test them. There you go, Grogu. Um, what are you? You are wood beads. Those are pretty. Um, got a screw connector on this end and a screw connector on this end. And does this screw, screw, as it were? Um, yeah, it does. A little bit longer than choker length, not much. Yeah, pretty enough. Let's put you on a card. If we can. Be easily screwed back here, but we'll try. Oh, look at that. Come on. I'll put another bead through. There we go. Now we can actually get a grip on this thing. I think we've got one or two more pieces left in this box. How are we doing as far as time? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Trying to keep it. To, to a reasonable length, so you're, we're not spending eternity together looking through stuff and breaking it into more videos for you to see. Uh, yeah, it's decent enough. Nice little wood bead necklace. Another piece for Grogu. Enjoy, my friend. Oh, uh, what is, it? is this the last piece in here? Well, it appears to be. Okay. A little charm on the end, a little four leaf clover. Well, let's just make sure that this is everything out of the box. Yep. Okay, we'll close the box and move it off to the side. I like to use boxes like this for charms that, or other pieces that I need to work with or, or store. Okay, it's a nice little charm. This does not float. It's actually fixed in position uh, just because the, the ring that's holding the, the 
charm on there is so tight to the chain, it's holding its position between these beads. Let's see. Are we Ferris? We have bets? Uh, no, non-Ferris. Very intricate design on the back, too. piece relatively speaking there's a oh so this this doesn't have a clasp so to speak it has a uh, ring here that, that everything passes through and you can tighten it to make the change longer or shorter but it's long enough as is to pass over somebody's head see this can move across the chain Oh, nice little piece. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to... Put, well, I can actually card it. I'll just come to think of it. Because if I pass this through and pass it around, maybe. Let's see. Eh, I'm not going to bother. Just be a pain to get it off later. But... It's sellable as is, so on to Grogu you go. And just like that, uh, on to the next piece of the puzzle, as it were. We're going to break the video here so that we can make another digestible piece for another day. Um, if you're interested in any of the jewelry, please play something in the comments so that I know that you want me to put that out for sale. Um, to, if you want to pick up any of the pieces or are interested in something from my collection, need some jewelry for a gift, uh, come visit us on whatnot.com or the whatnot app. Uh, just look for Vegas Valley Treasures, one word. In the meantime, uh, as always, I am Kenneth, your host, your hand model, the Vegas Valley Treasure Hunter. Please like and subscribe and Enjoy your jewelry. Take care.